Demanding change, celebrating success, our stories, our voices, Positively Black. And in this week's Positively Black, he is up against the likes of Hugh Jackman, Billy Crystal, and he's never been on a professional stage before now. We're talking about the young star of MJ the Musical. Miles Frost, 22 years old, took on the challenging role of playing the King of Pop six months ago and has moonwalked his way to a Tony nomination for Best Performance by a Lead Actor in a Musical. Our Joel Gargiulo talked to Miles a little bit ago, and we had the opportunity to talk to his oh-so-proud mom. He's always wanted to be a star, but we never in my wildest dreams did I think that he would be a star on Broadway. Oh, what he is. So Performing before sold out crowds since his Broadway debut in December. And Charmaine Strayhorn deserves the credit, not just because the young star of MJ the musical, Miles Frost, is her firstborn, but because she did what any mother would do when your kid takes the stage in this high school talent show. I'm his biggest cheerleader. That was the thing. Put it on YouTube so everybody else can see it. Well, her post didn't go viral, but it got the view that counted when his acting coach, Leland Thompson, Googled his young student on a whim. And he's like, you know, you were on my mind this morning. And I don't know, something just told me to look your name up on YouTube. First thing that came up was Miles Frost doing Billie Jean. And I wanted to know, like, if you can still, you know, sing and dance and, you know, do what you did in, in the video. But, you know, since you're older, do it a little bit better. And I was like, yeah, of course. Because I ain't done it since 2016, but I ain't gonna let you know that. But don't stop. Looking good, everybody. Never say no to your future self is what Miles believes, and good thing, because his acting coach happens to be the life partner of Jason Michael Webb, one of the musical directors of the Broadway production of MJ the Musical. Miles, by then at Bowie State studying audio engineering, was in the studio the next day, and a New York audition followed. As soon as I heard him, I was like, he's the guy. Hey. He trained six months to become Michael Jackson, but Miles makes it clear this is no impersonation. He is channeling the essence of the King of Pop. A lot of things that Michael and I went through to a degree is kind of similar. So a lot of things that I'm doing on stage, I can relate to my personal life. The acting for me is not acting, acting is being. I am that in that moment. Everything that I'm feeling is coming from a real place. It's something he says the pop star's own children have told him they really appreciate appreciate. Paris and Prince both shared with me that they appreciate that I wasn't trying to impersonate their father. You know, and that's something that I really take to heart and really appreciate because I don't want to impersonate Mike. At an early age, Miles was working the clubs, the golf clubs, that is. He wanted to be the next Tiger Woods. So I put him in golf at three years old and never knew he had a voice. No one did. Not even after his grandma Hattie discovered that her five-year-old grandson had an ear for music. And Miles came home, started playing Blessed Assurance, and he played that on the piano by ear. My grandmother is my driving force for being so young and being where I am. My mom has a way to, to instill the courage in you that you don't see yourself. She was able to come on uh, opening night. I almost cried because, you know, it meant so much to me that I was blessed with the opportunity to share that moment. She said, I, if you would have told me that was Miles, I would tell you you're lying. Well, if she couldn't believe that, how about that Tony nomination? I told Miles, regardless of what comes out in this Tony nomination, regardless of who's the winner, you've won. I always knew that I would be big, but I never thought that I'd be playing the King of Pop on Broadway. I, like, I, you, like, if you told me that when I was a kid, I'd be like, mm, you sure? Really, me? Oh, yeah, he is playing that role. Uh, and, of course, we will bring you these wonderful Positively Black stories every week here on News 4.